box manuet uh, in G major uh, and G minor. It's, it's a pair. If I did not play Bach, I would never had my memories uh, as quick as today uh, because he totally trained my memory. He totally divided parts of my brains, you know, left and, and right because uh, uh, none of uh, his works were kind of like right hands dominate the whole thing. It's always very even. Uh, you know, he's, uh, um, his art of music is incredibly balanced in the highest level. And if you can memorize Bach's piece, you can memorize everyone's work, I promise you. Um, so let me play a little bit of uh, my favorite childhood piece. And one thing, you know, because we are do dealing with the Baroque music, so don't play uh, so much kind of uh, sticking together. So you play slightly with a little bit drier sound, you know. time you can play more on the right hand and then when the repeat comes you can do more on the left hand how you do the repeat um, um, and then it, it's actually paired uh, with um, uh, G minor it's also a perfect way of practicing major minor even though it's not related uh, uh, harmonic ones it's, it's in the same basically uh, G major and directly into G minor so immediately you hear the difference of a major and minor. It's immediately you feel this is more sad music. like minor a little bit more because every time when you have a minor pieces which you have this turn which is going back to the major can you imagine when you have a very cloudy skies and then after a while you see the sunshine you know that's the magic turns so listen to this now turn See, so, so therefore, personally, I, I prefer minor keys. I can always make more colors out of it. Um, and I hope, I mean, of course, I hope you, you like both. Uh, but this is a perfect practice for you to get into Baroque music. And even though it's not Bach, sounds pretty much Bach. Uh, so remember this name, Christian Pezold.